Brick. It is I, your humble host, fellow monkey, chronicler of legend. And yet, we must return to the less than legendary world of the Plastic Brick once more. For as there is more than one thread in this universe tapestry, there is also another Lego Batman. And one with whom you might be rather more familiar. Released in 2017, the Lego Batman movie spins out of Batman's appearance in the Lego movie. The Dark Knight wastes no time in defeating the Clown Prince of Chaos, but is the Joker really Batman's true nemesis? This movie received a 90% rating on review aggregate site Rotten Tomatoes, so Batman's greatest enemy isn't the critics. Now, come with me, dear viewers, to walk among the diminutive denizens of another LEGO Gotham City, and experience... the LEGO Batman movie. Another night in the original city of crime, Gotham. And another daring crime from the Clown Prince of Chaos himself. With a smile. The Joker, Clown Prince of Chaos. Aided and abetted in this particular caper by such villains as Two-Face, Catwoman, and Harley Quinn. Though also by such villains as Egghead, Crazy Quilt, and March Harriet. Strange indeed is the Gotham Underworld. But in all this, an even more daring bait and switch from the Dark Knight. For you see, dear viewer, the Joker had threatened to blow Gotham City apart. Yet he would relent were he appointed its ruler. To this end, the mayor was brought in to negotiate the surrender of the city. However, Batman is a master of disguise. Batman deftly deals with these villains, to a catchy tune, no less. Oh, but the hardest pill of all is the idea that the Joker is indeed Batman's nemesis. You mean nothing to me. And with the city saved, our hero returns to his lair. But Alfred, loyal butler to the Wayne family, has some wise words to share. And as I have offered unto another Lego Batman, thus I shall offer unto you. Be not a fool, Batman. Seek allies in your crusade. Let us now turn our attention to the retirement of James Gordon, where we meet one, Dick Grayson, and the new commissioner, Barbara Gordon whose new plan to end this cycle of crime is rather... progressive. Barbara Gordon seeks to cure the Gotham Police Department of their abject reliance upon a... Batman. However, she would be willing to ally with this Batman were he to agree to it. And yet the Joker has the unlikeliest plan of all. Yes, the Clown Prince of Chaos and all of his kaleidoscopic criminal cohorts surrender to Barbara Gordon. You would forgive my disbelief that they shall remain so easily in custody. And yet, what is a crime fighter without a crime to fight? Moreover, what will Batman do in a crimeless city? Perhaps adopt a youthful ward? But exposing him to danger would be a very bad idea. An even worse idea would be to send an untrained orphan into the deadly heart of an extraterrestrial complex in the Arctic wastes, and all in order to retrieve a Phantom Zone projector that opens the door to a space prison that contains the deadliest villains known to Lego minifigure. And yet, this is precisely the idea that our Lego Batman would entertain. I despair. Our heroes recover the projector. Which, in a shocking twist, is exactly what he wanted. 
Yes, dear viewer, the Joker actually sought passage to the Phantom Zone, that he may command its denizens and conquer Gotham with their power, and perhaps earn the hatred of his greatest foe. Ah, Sir Joker, the spleen of the Batman lies elsewhere. Thus did the Phantom Zone come to Gotham. Robots! And the Joker gains the greatest prize of all, the Bat-Cave. Ah, but Batman is not as alone as he likes to maintain. And so it is that our heroes reach the Bat-Cave. But still, our hero cannot risk losing loved ones for a second time. And so it is that Batman and the Joker face off once again. However, our hero is still not emotionally mature enough to be able to declare his hatred for the Joker. Strange indeed is this legend. For the nemesis of Batman is not the Joker. As our hero learns from the curator of the Phantom Zone. But the Bat family will not be denied. Which may be the end of them. Enter the Batman. And behold the unholy alliance. And battle is joined. But all too late to stop the bomb. Can it be? Could our heroes truly be defeated? In a family film? I do rather think not. For to extricate themselves from this situation, they merely have to use their heads. <laughs> and to seal this chasm, Batman must admit his feelings. How are your abs, bro? So begins the age of the Bat family. Such then is the legend of the Lego Batman movie. And I deem this legend worthy of remembrance. Let's start with the animation. The secret of the Lego movies is that they're not actually made from physical Lego. It's all CG, but it's made to look just like stop motion. That's the genius of the art. And it's used to great effect. Even explosions are brick based. And because of the Lego, the scope of this movie is genuinely epic. Thousands of extras, incredible stunt work, not least from the man himself, fighting gremlins on the wing of the Batwing, giant fireballs shooting down the Eye of Sauron, Daleks? It's all here. But let's not forget that half the performance is in the voice. And Will Arnett's Batman goes on a real journey here. From self-obsessed, man I'm awesome, lone crusader Bat God, the humbled head of a new family, whose sole purpose is to finally defeat Bruce Wayne's demons. And really, anything else is in service of that. Ralph Fiennes lends his quintessential Britishness to Alfred, Michael Serra is slightly unconvincing as Dick Grayson, but the animation covers it well, and Rosario Dawson has very little to do for all her part as Barbara Gordon. And having not seen a bodily performance from Zach Galifianakis, I can't really comment as to how he fares as the Joker, but he does bring something to the role. Which brings us to the flow. And this is a straightforward story of one man and his demons, and how what kept him alive has kept him alone. The slower moments don't drag, and the action set pieces, as I mentioned, are genuinely captivating and dense with action. The odd thing about this movie, though, is the bizarre pseudo-homo-romantic relationship between Batman and the Joker, which drives the plot. The Joker needing to be Batman's greatest enemy, leading him to leave behind the ordinary rogues of Arkham in favour of a Phantom Zone filled with super powerful ancient evils and giant beasts and even Daleks, and all to hear Batman declare his hatred? Joker, he'll never hate you. But I'm reading far too much into this anyway. And I could be miserable and diss the BAM POW sequence or raise an eyebrow at the allusions to Batman's rich history, but they only serve to add to this movie. Because, 
at least in my opinion, with a big enough budget and a big enough scope, you can get away with a little bit of bad cheese. And really, that's the best way to summarise this movie. The pseudo-romance is slightly confusing to me, but it's a good solid flick which teaches us that we must learn to make new friends, play well with others, and maybe tell our nemeses that we hate them once in a while. And yes, actually, everything is Batman. And with these words, I direct you to the greatest of sights, the subscription button, and its scintillating sidekick, the notification bell icon. And that you would wish to be my hero, consult the sacred texts below for the path to my financial salvation. Or in your language, crowdfunding. I remain your humble host, fellow monkey, chronicler of legend. And the greatest legend of all is still to come. That's right, folks. Join us in two weeks when we start down the path of the DC Extended Universe. Indeed, Master Funky Monkey. Until that time, I bid you all, dear viewers, good day. <laughs>